Hello guys, so welcome to 3D Home and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to model this fence, okay? This particular fence using SketchUp, okay? How to model this using SketchUp. So let's proceed without wasting much of our time. The first thing is to pick the first tool, which is known as the line tool, okay? Pick the first tool. Let's start from here, alright? So click, let's type in the, the thickness as 225, alright? 225 thickness. And then for the length, okay, for the length, let's go with three meters, three meters. That is three thousand mm, okay. Same thing, the width, three to five. Then we can now join this particular one, okay. All right. Then the next step we take is for us to, you know, introduce our expansion joint, okay. So let's go with four fifty. Our block um, length by two to five, but since we are getting we are doubling two blocks, okay. Since we are using two blocks for the expansion joint, instead of making this two to five, let's just make it four fifty. So that would be four fifty by four fifty, okay. Then let's join this particular one together. This is how the block will look like when we divide them into two. So this is the first block. Why this other one is the second one, okay? So now, what to do now is highlight everything, okay? Highlight everything, then move this particular one. You can see I'm using the move tool, okay? Move this particular one. See, I picked from the center, right? So make sure you pick from the center too, and then align it with the center of this particular one too, okay? Align it there. And then for the height, make this one with your push and pull tool, note push and pull tool, which is this particular one, all right? Pick this wall. All right, this particular um column type in two meters that is two thousand height okay pick the second one and align it with this one you pick you drag it up align with this one okay and then for the wall let's go with one two okay that is one thousand two hundred so this is what we have now so far okay all right then the next thing again to do is this particular design this slab over here okay this slab so we'll be creating this slab now okay so how to do that is by clicking on this face okay this first face click on the face and then the next thing is for you to pick your offset tool which is this one right click on the offset tool once then click from the outside let's click on this other side okay click outside and then align it with this thickness okay align it with the thickness if you don't want these ones to show while um while you're adding the thickness of this make sure you pick a line right from that side to this other end okay so you can now delete this one if you don't want it to show for just for a clean work okay then let's do the same thing here okay for a clean you know clean work let's remove this one okay let's move this one and then the height pick your push and pull tool type in 100 okay type in one double click on this one double click on this one to it will give you the same 100 all right and then for this top one this top one click here use your iris tool all right eraser tool and erase this middle line this is our expansion joint okay so click on this first piece same thing the offset tool okay use the offset tool type in 100 then use push and pull to drag this one and type in 100 okay so the width is 100 and the thickness is also 100 so we have this particular thing now okay let's change the color first okay so this is the color all right this is the color let's do that first let me be a little bit fast okay because of time and in case there's anything you don't understand or you are lost at some point do well to drop your question okay i will attend to you okay okay so this is what we have so far let's click this one too use the same material okay so what's the next thing let's go with this particular design okay
okay this particular design this one so make sure you're viewing it from this point okay this one just pick your rectangle and then pick a convenient point but before then i will advise let's get this particular wall first okay this one your flower point so pick your rectangle tool which is this one right pick your rectangle tool and then draw it from this point okay to this point and bring it out a little okay out a little then pick your offset tool right offset 100 then use line to you know split this one right divide this one with your line and then bring up this one this particular point tap control all right just before you raise it up once you click on it like this and use your push and pull tool tap on control once okay then bring it up let's type 250 250 okay 250 is okay and um for the color so it's advisable you do this first before the slab otherwise you might end up having a design a bit lower than what you were expecting okay so first of all create this one all right and then let's work on the design now so pick your rectangle tool okay let's draw it from this point to this point okay and then bring this out with um with 20 with 30 rather 30 mm okay 30 mm all right then triple click on this face okay oh it, it can't work like that because you didn't group this one differently so what will happen now is just select this one okay hold down your control key and pick this point or a simple method of doing that okay instead of using this particular one let me show you also one of the simplest method of doing that okay just undo make sure it's like this first okay then select the color and then offset the 30 this is the easiest way all right then secondly we need to okay this one is white but well, this one is okay but if you feel like since this is what we're modeling let's maintain this one to be white okay since it's we are reproducing what we are seeing so let this one be white okay all right so now for it's better to do it like this and then we'll start multiplying like copying you see that it's very easy than doing everything at the same time right creating the columns at the same time that will take more of your time so for this particular rails now this um burglary okay the let's go with 650 yeah i think this should be 650 yeah 650 let's go with 650 all right so first of all let's pick this line from here to here let's define the middle point from here to here and then from here make sure it's up once it's up you see a blue line okay then type in your 650 okay then secondly type in from this other side drag and type in your 652 okay 650 so from this line now you can now join these particular lines together okay align them together now you can see we are getting there all right so let me be a bit fast okay so click on this one double click on this one all right pick your offset to and type in 50 okay 50 pick this line okay offset type in 100 okay offset again type in 50 okay double click inside both from this other end to this end from this other end to this to this end okay then now let, let's do something highlight this particular line okay from here to here type in one meter 1000 okay from here to here type in 50 from here to here type in one meter that is 1000 then from here to here type in 50 okay 50 then 
we can now erase this entire lines inside erase this particular ones to inside sorry let's do that again from these inner ones erase them okay then erase these side ones okay erase this other side ones too we're trying to marry everything together okay so the same thing these ones and these ones okay then what else okay that's all for now then erase these particular ones okay these inner ones erase and these are the openings so do well to erase them too all right okay, so erase these ones then let's change the color let's go with the darker color okay something like this then click on this one all right click at the back too then pick your push and pull tool and offset and pull out 50 okay type in 50 so this is our 50 you can see we have one section of that particular design that's this particular section then after this okay after this highlight everything right click and click group then go to your top view this is the top view okay click on top view the secondly go to this camera okay click on camera and then change it from this perspective to parallel this will now give you a clear top view okay clear plan view of that particular things then now click on this one tap on move this is move okay tap on move select this point select this point okay tap control once okay to activate um, a copy all right then secondly let's see what we have okay okay then secondly tap your right arrow okay your right arrow on your navigation tool you see up arrow you see down arrow you see left arrow you see right arrow okay so tap on the right arrow all right once you tap on the right arrow it to make sure that that particular plan is maintained okay let me show you something let's check our 3d let me show you something you see the way this thing is now let me go back to perspective you see how this thing is showing now okay you see how it's showing now right let me do something without pressing that arrow then you see why i was asking you to press that arrow okay so click on top view again click on camera click on then click on perspective okay so let me show you something if we want to you know copy this particular one again Okay, or let me let me just remove this one and then draw another one the same thing from here pick your move to okay click on this point tap control once then this time around we're not pressing right arrow okay let me show you why i asked us to press right arrow so once you drop it here once you drop it here instead of the defense aligning with the other one you see that this other one is up so let's check our 3d so this is what i'm talking about okay let me change it to perspective this is what i'm talking about you can see that this one is up instead of aligning with this particular one okay so make sure whenever you're working on that point once you get to that particular point you tap in your right arrow so let's do that again let me be fast so tap on your top view go back to camera then parallel okay then now click on this one click on move right pick the point tap control tap your right arrow key you see that that red line drop will activate itself then this is our column forget this outer ones okay this one is now in the edge of our column so click on that one all right then now let's just select from this point okay the same thing let's let's continue on the way we're doing it so once you click on this one yeah pick on this point now so even with tap on control so this time around even without you clicking on 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 right arrow since this is the point you're picking it's going to you know come out well so this is how you keep you know copying and pasting depending on the length of your fence okay depending on the length of your fence you can do that all day to keep going right so now once you check that your 3d view you'll get to see that ah you've done something amazing so far okay 
so let's check what we've done so far so this is that fence all right so this is all about this particular fence this is how to do it i think um if you remove this one and take this other one back all right so this is how to model this particular fence and if you find the video helpful please do well to subscribe okay do well to subscribe like and share um if there's anything you don't understand if there's anything you would like me to explain more okay so just drop your comment there drop the question there on the comment section i'll do it to attend to you thank you once again for your time